Okay, so I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to use your Blogger account on your iPad. First off, we use the app right here called Blog Touch Pro. Now, you might be thinking, Mr. Flick, we've seen different apps before. Yes, this is actually the third app we're trying to make it work great on an iPad, and I have all the hope in the world that this is the one. Okay, but before I get into that, I wanted to just check a couple things. First off, um, I'm gonna be doing a blog post in this example all about volcanoes. So make sure that you've gathered your photos together and you already have those ready to go because you don't wanna do really the creation stuff inside um, your blog. You wanna have that all ready to go and you're really just posting it. So I have a photo here of a volcano, so that looks great. Um, let's see what else I've got here. Um, if I go to my notes, um, I got my there we go. Open up notes. Here's my what is a volcano. So that's ready to go. So I've already written it. So if you have lots of writing to do, if you're doing just one or you know one or two sentences, fine, write it in the blogging app. But if you've got lots more that you're doing, just write it in notes and then just copy and paste it into there. That's a real good trick because some students have worked for like half an hour on writing all this stuff and then it gets lost in the actual blogging app. So notes is really reliable and stable and it's and it's saved right here on your iPad. So I do all my writing inside of uh, notes and then I just copy and paste, unless it's just one or two sentences. Okay, so it looks like I'm ready to do my post on volcanoes. So let me go back to my, my app here, Blog Touch Pro. Open that up. Okay, so um, you can see here are all my blog posts along the side here. Okay, and those are all the ones that are published and um, this is just the area to show what those things are. So I want to uh, make a new one. So I'm going to tap on the, the writing one, the little square with the pencil in it. So I'm going to tap on that one. And that's going to give me my uh, whole blank area here to create a new one. And I'm going to put the tap on title there. And this is Volcano. So let me put the L in there. Volcanoes. Okay. Um, you, If you want to, you could put labels. So I could put uh, this as a report. And then I went later when I can search my blog after it's been going for years, I can say, well, show me all the reports. And uh, that's what it'll do there. It'll search for all the labels with reports. Okay, so now I have, I'm have i tapped down here in the body of the blog and I'm actually going to um, press the home button and go back over to notes and get and copy and paste that. So let me go to notes. Let me copy this whole thing. And let me go back to blog touch pro. And then I can paste that in there. Okay, so you see how that worked? It's copy and it's pasted into there. Everything's looking really good. Uh, of course, you have all your formatting in here. So if I really wanted the word pressure in bold, I could press the B up here and now pressure's in bold. Okay, you see that? All right. So, um, and, and of course you can do all the formatting and you can center something and do all these things. But now I want to go ahead and add a photo to uh, the beginning, right after what is a volcano. This is where I want to go ahead and add a photo. So I've got my, my cursor blinking there, I've got space for it, and I'm going to tap on the little mountains one right here, and I'm going to add one from my gallery right here. Add a picture, and it might come up and ask you about, do you have permission to get into your photos or something like that, and you can just click on yes. Okay, so now it's opened up to all my photos. Look at, I have 85,000 photos. So on mine, it takes a little bit to get opened up. So I can just tap on my camera roll, tap on the photo, tap on done, and it puts the, the photo in there. Now that photo is really huge for my blog. If I was to leave it like that, it would overflow my blog. And because and, my blog has some navigation things on the right side over here, and so it's way too big. So I can just tap in the middle of it and grab one of the corners and I can bring it down to a more reasonable size here. Now, see how that looks nice together? What is a volcano? You got a nice little picture there, and then you have a little thing here about uh, what is a volcano. Okay, so that looks like it's ready to go. I've checked it all over, and now I can just tap on the Publish button, and now it's publishing it. It just says Photos can increase the time to post. Okay, so I'm just waiting, 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 and there it is. It's done, and it's ready to go. So if I want to, I can actually tap this little uh, share button up here and I can say view post and this will actually take me to take it uh, you know show me what it looks like in a in the actual blog and there now you see why it was so important I made the photo a uh, reasonable size here otherwise it would have overlapped into this area here but look at that that's beautiful that's a nice little blog post right there so that's my tips and tricks on how to use a blogger